keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible, shake them that's following us, and lie low. This is lying low? It turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Sure, this can wait. Let's go, girl. Easy. So where are we going? Find an... We spot the camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to, and fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Ah, uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but hey. the way he talks, oh. I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Easy. Hey, Easy. get back on your horse. <laughs> we Easy now. Go easy. Come on now. Easy. Easy. What is this, Arthur? Get back Go on the horse. Easy. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters. Uh, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Coming. 
Okay. It's okay. Come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took off, Baza. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take them? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Luther. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. <laughs> What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Hold up. Let me check this. Okay. Looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons, anyway, when you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. Look, they go along the shore there. I see them. Anyway, you were saying? Bastards told me they killed Mac. Set it right in front of Jack. Ah, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young, a long while. Year him. Think this is the right way? Give me a second. Ah, uh, they continue on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on them. So you was just talking about something? He did? And we was... Look out! Family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Whoa! Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. There he is. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Pfanne, Vorsicht! Take cover! Three coming right at us! 
What the hell do you think you're doing? What are we doing? This ain't even our goddamn fight! Them dealt with. You get him untied, I'll we'll see what they've left behind for us. Sie sind alle weg. It's okay. We're getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. So you were just talking about something? All right, come on. I'll take you back to your family. Hat meine Familie sie geschickt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Bringen Sie mich hin. What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there. Why did they take you? Geld. Money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas, oh. Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wär's so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. ist klar. Vamos. Uh. Ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Mrs. Adler. Good morning, Arthur. In bed. 
world is changing, and I'm not making much sense, am I? No. But somehow, you summarized how I feel. It, it seems awful. Then, it seems the same as always, and then it, it seems like there's just no other way, and I, I just... Listen, we got out of worse situations than this. Done plenty of bad things that we've all forgotten about. <sighs> Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption too seriously. We're doomed. Just like every other creature on this rock. But unlike them, we'll go down fighting. Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. Apart from wishing I wasn't gonna find out sooner than I'd like. What do you think, Arthur? I don't do too much thinking, Jose. Killing's more my thing. I don't believe that for a second. <sighs> hey! Up! <laughs> what? Ah, uh, don't worry. It can wait. You're interrupting my beauty, Red. Morning to you, Arthur. Another new market for you, Mr. Strauss. Yes, I wonder if I'll ever not smell a campfire again. I think it's in our skin now. Morning. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. Good morning, Arthur. Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. And how are you? Good, thanks. Very good. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good along over, Dutch. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. It's okay, girl. Easy, girl. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, 
Especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Well, we well, well look who it is. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go! After that train! And do not shoot them, you hear me? Don't shoot! Come on, hurry! What are you doing? Faster, come on! What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please! My neck is on the line here. I get it, I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Oh, the Anderson boys? Robbery, murder, kidnapping, they're the lowest of the low. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. You all are a goddamn joke. Ah. Uh, idiot. Now get after the others. Come on. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. You need to get alongside it. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Uh, uh, you bastards! Uh, I didn't do nothing! Uh, 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 arrest me now! That's enough! Uh, damn it! Stay on him! You hold it right there! You're only making it worse! Come on, shit bag! Come on, Mr. Callahan, I'm relying on you! Bastard! 
damn bastard. Get the hell away from me. <laughs> Wasting my time. Where you gonna run to? Go, get after them. Just you and me now, pal. I'm gonna ride ahead and stop. It's just us then, lawman. Come here. Do we need to bother? Let me go. Can't do that. Come on, just don't kill him. Ah. 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 Are you sure? Are you sure? Sadly so. Hello? Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. It's you and me now, pal. I'm gonna ride ahead and stop the train. It's just us then, lawman. Come here. Do we need to bother? Let me go. I can't do that. Try at least. Uh, just don't uh, kill him. Uh, uh, exactly so. uh, Watch yourself. He's as dirty as they come. Uh, Come on! I don't think I can open the door from the outside, unfortunately. Still think you're tough, though? Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in, come on. A fine job, well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go, you are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir, I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, we just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. 
Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. Carry him over, then. Hey, fellas. There it is. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone, sadly, to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and them falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea. Why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Whoa now. Near got bit by a goddamn dog this morning. Not enough food for anyone. Place going plumb crazy. All right, gentlemen, follow me. Okay, girl. Whoa. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still. And it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. Trelawney owns 
owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Watch out! Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawneys. What a terrible thought. So what Trelawney said about those bounty hunters? What you think? I told you. I've had bounty hunters after me for years. When was the last time I didn't have a price on my head? Seems a little bigger now, Dutch. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Passing you. Okay, go! Oh? I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Hey, those are the boats you mean? Yes. Good. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? <coughs> oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Uh. Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Get us a bit deeper. Here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance. Looking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. 
Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Got a nibble there, Arthur. You got a bite. Just gotta reel him in now, Arthur. There you go. That's a nice one. They're nibbling. There he is. Got one. Not bad. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. 50 pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow, the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Nicely done, Arthur. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way, and she, me, in hers, <laughs> somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Good job, Arthur. That'll grill up nice. Looks like you got a bite, Arthur.
Well done. Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. You got something biting, Arthur. Now reel him in, Arthur. Something's nibbling. Got one. Damn it, I lost him. You're getting the hang of this. Oh, Arthur's pleased with that one. Arthur's got a bite. Not bad, Arthur. Not worth keeping that one. You got a bite there, Arthur. Keeping that one, eh? Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Oh, well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked 
that gal to give me some. Ask that gal to give me some. She says, wait until the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burnt and so did I. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us, three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners till we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round around around? Shall we go dance this round around around? Hey, that is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round 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 round. round. We care not for those martial men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men that do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around. To them we dance this round around around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up. Oh, bravo! Bravo! Well, you know, we should not let the folks back at camp think that we had too much fun. Indeed not. All right. I think I, well, I mean, we are going to be OK. I know. Well, I always know whenever I got you two by my side, things are going to be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. You know, I think I've heard enough of your opinions, miss. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't, don't be like that. Uh, you know, just a, just a few bucks. And I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. <laughs> You're shouting. Oh, I'm sorry, Captain. Did they do things differently in the Navy? Yeah. hadn't eaten three days. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing a hand, lady. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. He stood there laughing and crying. And rather than kill me, he took me and got me some food. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. <laughs> Enough, both of you. Well, come with me then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. 
And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Miss Zed are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. Now, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Are uh, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now, that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Yeah. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Hey, stupid! Oh, gracious! What's the matter with you? Thanks. What did you get there, Harold? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? What's in the parcel? Look, it's some ointment, all right? For a private matter. Now I really must be going. Don't mention this to Vera. Just shut up. You don't know me. Don't know what I did to deserve that. Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right.
Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Hello. I'm working. What is taking you so long? Listen, lady, I got it all in the wagon there. <sighs> I could train my goat to do this faster. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Just taking it one day at a time. Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry. About what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Hey. What, uh, what you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. Sadie. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Oh. Go, go, go! God damn it! Get moving! Whoa! too long no past those reins here why because you've caused enough trouble already i'm fine yep we showed those bastards huh remind me not to get on your bad side and they was clearly planning to bushwhack us you did good but that's a lot of mess to make near camp hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around are you gonna tell dutch Maybe, if he asks, but maybe not. Hey, you want me to drive? So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. 
I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind boggles. Not a chance. didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well... They say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Good evening, Arthur. Good job finding this spot. You found it, too. I wouldn't have if you hadn't talked me into it. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Nah, Morgan? I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was... Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> you okay? 